Good afternoon, folks. Welcome back to Fat Cat Collections. Today, we got some clothing. So you guys know I review all kinds of products on this channel. Uh, I am a shopaholic when it comes to clothing. Um, it's ridiculous. I, I mean, here's the thing, right? Let me ramble for a second. I don't even really go anywhere. Like, I'm work, family, and that's about it, right? I ain't going out clubbing or any shit like that anymore. But I gotta say, I do like to shop and I do like to look nice. Even though I wear a lot of kind of basic JCPenney shirts a lot of times, I have been wanting some Western shirts in my collection. And because I am a cheapskate, I just wouldn't buy myself one uh, or a shirt, right? <laughs> right? Uh, they're, uh, you know, for, well, we'll talk about the price point in a little bit. But just because I wear a lot of t-shirts, right? But I've been eyeballing Western shirts for a while. You guys know I'm a cowboy boots kind of guy. Uh, I really enjoy the look of cowboy boots and the extra height you get for a 5'8 guy. I get up to about 5'10 with those. Uh, so these have been on my kind of radar, especially for when the, you know, for the fall. And uh, perfect timing, a brand called Cool Fandy. Uh, they reached out and uh, wanted to collaborate, which is pretty cool. Now, Cool Fandy is an Amazon brand. I have been looking at their stuff for quite some time. To be honest with you, when you look at uh, Western shirts on Amazon or button-up fashion shirts, Cool Fandy is one of the main players that comes up. And again, I've been eyeballing their stuff for a while. So today I'm going to share four of these with you today. Um, I'll do a little editing on the video, which I normally don't do, but I like this brand so much. And when they reached out, I was super excited. I was like, hell yeah, I know, the, I know your brand. Um, and hopefully I get to collaborate with them again. These shirts are awesome. So price point on these, I'm not going to, you know, I don't know what they are today. Range about $35 to $45 depending on size, depending on uh, depending on the actual style, right? So I'm going to start off to show you what they look like. For uh, reference purposes, I'm about, again, 5'8". I weigh about 170 pounds. And so I ordered on these, dropping on the floor, I ordered smalls. Uh, a lot of companies are going to tell you to always order larger. Again, this just depends on how you like to wear your clothing. I'm a small guy, right? My dad says all the time, he's like, I don't think you're a small, right? I'm like, but that's how I like to wear my clothing. I like it tight. I like it fitted. Um, I, especially when it comes to a dress shirt. Now, everybody's body is different. And there are, you know, time, you know, some guys have, you know, I'm definitely not a six pack ripped guy by any means, but I definitely, you know, like to have things fit me. I work out often. I, I try to, you know, maintain a healthy lifestyle and nothing looks nicer on a fit body than a nice dress shirt that fits properly. Um, even if you, even if you are a big boy, when you look at guys like, take a look at like the Godfather, those guys look sharp, right? You're not buying off the rack stuff. So if you want to get custom made stuff, of course, no matter what your body type is like, you're going to look a lot better, right? But with something like, you know, off the shelf stuff, um, this brand is pretty nice. I like the way these fit me. And if your body, you know, is maybe similar or, uh, or even if it's not, give this a go, right? I think you'll really like their Western shirts. Uh, and like I said, when you're looking on Amazon, they're like one of the big players here. So i do a little editing, and I'll show you what these look like on me, okay? So first one I want to share with, uh, share with you guys is this one here. It's black, obviously. Um, you get the cool Fandy logo. Again, this is size small, so you can get an idea. You know, if you look at what I look like, 5'8", uh, right? 170 pounds. You know, definitely not, don't, no six-pack there. Have some body fat. I'd say my body fat's probably in the... I don't know, we can't really trust these scales. I'd say maybe 18 to 20. Uh, not 100% sure, but for, uh, chest, I don't know. I'm not really sure offhand. I, I'm guessing, say, maybe 44, but I don't. I have no idea, right? So, um, again, I've tried on the mediums before. The medium, of course, fits. You can, you can wear a medium. If you like your shirts to fit looser, fine. But when I put on a medium shirt, I, especially when it comes to a dress shirt like this or a western shirt, I just feel like they just get too long and then you kind of look like you're wearing like your dad's shirt or something like that. So, so small all the way and you'll see what it looks like on me. So this one here has got the embroidery which is really cool. Uh, you got a couple kind of like Texas stars if that's what it is, but real cool looking. Uh, the next one here is just like a nice royal blue. Um, you know, no embroider on this, but you do have kind of some stitching around the pockets. Very cool looking. See if you can see that. You do have sort of, this is kind of iconic to like Western shirts. It's kind of stitching around the top of the upper pec there. Uh, very cool. You'll see that on a lot of Western shirts. Uh, this one here, 
just kind of a simple, you know, got a little, almost like, I would say, hound's tooth. It's not. It's actually like a black and white checker. Uh, kind of like this crisscross diamond pattern. I've been eyeballing these. They make them in all different kinds of colors. I was eyeballing the pink for a long time. Um, I just haven't picked it up. I said, let me go safe. Let me go with the black one. And then this one is, I think, my favorite one. Uh, you folks know I dig roses. Uh, this, again, another Western shirt. Lots of embroidery. Very cool looking. You got the roses all over the chest. Absolutely love this one. So uh, let me uh, go try on some of these, and I'll, show, I'll be back in just a second here. Okay, here is the black one. Now, I'm not going to go through the whole thing. I, I don't want to make this video two hours, but give you guys an idea. You see how this fits on me? Small is absolutely perfect for my build. Uh, you know. It's got like a nice little taper, but not too much. You know, if you're a big boy and you got a little more midsection, right? Sometimes the taper shirts can make you look like a sausage. Uh, this is not over the top, right? Even for a small. Again, I've had shirts on Amazon that I've ordered like a small. I wear the medium. I'm like, oh, this is too big. Or the small, then I look like a like a like an Oscar Mayer pork sausage, right? It's just too tight. Uh, this is something that's loose enough. You have enough. Uh, enough um, room in the midsection, but not where it's like flapping around. It's not overly long. The sleeves are not overly long. You can roll up the sleeves. Uh, this one just looks absolutely fantastic. Love it. And as we know, black is very slimming, especially when you're adding some decoration up at the top like this. The embroidery, this definitely like deep, like uh, takes the attention away from anything else, right? It's the first thing people are going to notice with a shirt like this. Um, you know, anything you can emphasize your chest is going to help slim you down, in my opinion, right? So this is what it looks like on me. You can see plenty of room in there. I mean, you know, if you like your shirts looser, this isn't going to work for you. If you're like five foot eight, right, like me, give you guys kind of an example, and you are, let's say you, you know, you have six pack abs and you're about 170 pounds, you probably have more muscle than I have. And so, you know, this shirt, a small might be a little tight on you. Just depends, right? Nice thing about Amazon, you buy this stuff, you can return it. They have free returns, at least the last time I checked. I would order two, return the one you don't like. These are not available on Amazon wardrobe though, which kind of sucks. I wish they were. Then you can just get the ones, a couple different sizes, try them on, keep the one you want, send the other ones back. But um, yeah, but just check the return policy. I don't want you guys to get stuck with something. But I always feel like with a dress shirt, you look sharper if it properly fits you. And again, every brand's a little different. I've had smalls that don't fit right in other brands. I've had mediums that don't fit right in that same brand. With Cool Fandy, for me, I know that their smalls fit me great. And sometimes that's the best way of doing it. Order one, try it on before you order the others. You like the way it fits. You know, so there's going to be a little fluctuation, different, you know, um, uh, different styles. But Cool Fanny seems to be pretty good. Four shirts, they all fit the same. So very nice looking shirt. Let me try the other one. Woohoo! Coming out the gate strong with this one. I couldn't wait to the end. There is the roses. Absolutely love this shirt. I really hope I get to collaborate with them more on these because they have a lot of other ones with roses. Uh, you know, I don't know. I just absolutely, something about roses I absolutely dig. Uh, very cool looking shirt. And you can see white can be a tough color. If you're not, you know, if you're not rocking the six pack abs, white can be a tougher color. And I totally get it, folks. You know, I, I work out very hard. I try to eat healthy, I'd say 80% of the time. And when you get older, it's not easy to go shredding fat, right? You have to be very consistent in your diet. I like to find the balance. But you can see, for me, you know, how this fits. It's not like this shirt would be a deal breaker for me, especially in white. If it was really tight, super tapered, I'd say these shirts are kind of a hybrid between like standard fit and a tapered fit. They're right in between and they're not too long. Uh, no, I can't speak on the medium. I don't know how, to how much length it's going to add. Um, you know, and again, if you're going to tuck your shirt in, like some boys do, uh, you know, you still have room to tuck it in, but you, it's not going to be, you know, flopping all over the place. Nothing looks worse, in my opinion, than trying to tuck a shirt in and then you having all this extra material flapping around. These are got that nice taper. Again, if you are a larger boy, bigger belly, right, then, you know, of course this is going to fit tighter on you. But at least maybe you can pull off a shirt that's a little bit of a taper and without going all the way to full taper, right? So great looking shirt. And again, for white, I feel comfortable in my skin in this. Like it's not, uh, it fits me nice. It looks nice. And of course, that is subjective. You don't like it. I don't really give a shit. I like it. And that's all that matters. But great looking shirt. All right, on to the next. 
Okay, now we're rocking the black diamond, as I'll call it. Uh, this one does need to be ironed. It, actually, they should all be ironed, but when I, when, just so you know, when I wear these out, I will iron them beforehand. You can't be walking around wrinkled. Um, you know, as far as, like, washing on this, I would always be careful machine washing dress shirts. Uh, you know, I, I'm not going to spend the money to have them dry cleaned or anything like that, but, um, you know, just be careful with them. Uh, always good to just kind of, if you are going to use a washer dryer, be conscious, you know, of shrinkage. Um, you know, it, it's what's nothing's worse than getting a size that fits you right off the rack. You're feeling good about it, and then you throw in the washing machine. I've done this before, and you you wash it, then you dry it in hot, or you wash it in warm, and you forget. Uh, what I find with anything you don't want to shrink, wash it cold, cold, cold. I know that's common sense. Even air dry it if you can, uh, just to ensure that it's not going to shrink up. Now, um, I've read the shirts. You know, I've read by many different sites. That clothing doesn't actually shrink it, it does like when you wash it and then it stretches back um, there's some truth to that but it just depends I have shirts that there's no way no matter how much I wear them after the fact that they're stretching back to where they were right uh, so just kind of keep that in mind you get a favorite shirt you get something you really like something that really fits you well uh, just be careful how you wash it right as far as like cotton, polyester, whatever these are made out of, again, links in the description. Check them out for yourself. Do your own research. All right, so this one definitely needs to be be, be uh, ironed. But what I like about this too, it's not again, it's not a houndstooth, but you roll up the sleeves, you have a little bit of a little bit of checker on there. It's kind of fun. The only thing is, uh, what I wish they would have done on this is maybe put a secondary button so you can actually wear this button. Because if you wear it like this, I don't like what sleeves are kind of like half one roll up they're just kind of flopping around if you go to roll this again there's nothing there so you're going to cover that up so i don't necessarily think you know wear it like this um i would if this was had the ability to button behind it and keep this from uh, popping open but i guess there is one button there you kind of yeah you can kind of button it but again you can see the side's still going to flare out but anyway you get the idea all right and on to the last one All right, and on to the last one, the Royal Blue. Great looking shirt. Uh, this one, I gotta say, like is, is, I don't know, man. I love the embroidery shirts, but you know, they're pretty loud. This is a very, very uh, universal shirt. Like you can wear this at a job, uh, if you have like an office job or, <coughs> excuse me, more like a business setting. Uh, the wet, the you know the western style shirts. I'm not sure those are a little loud to be wearing in the workplace. Again, depends on your employer. But this universal. You can wear this casual. You can wear this, wear this dressed up. And I I will state that I feel like this one. Um, I love the way this one fits me. They all fit great. But I don't know what it is about maybe these. This kind of uh, stitching on the top there again. The western style pockets bring an emphasis up to your chest and away from the midsection. Uh, great looking shirt. Again, these are smalls. Um, absolutely love the way this one looks. Um, this one here is, you know, when I see a shirt that I really like or pants or jeans, whatever the case may be, I tend to be very obsessive and I want it in every color. I'm really hoping Cool Fandy will collaborate with Fat Cat Collections again and I get some of the other colors because this one is an absolute winner. Love it. So if you're in the market for a very adaptable, very universal dress shirt, look no further. The Western clothes is awesome, you know, and a lot of times some folks will look on Amazon. Maybe your style isn't cowboy boots. Maybe it's not Western. And you'll look on Amazon and say, oh, why? Well, you know, I don't wear Wrangler jeans or I don't wear this. And, you know, if had you just given it a chance, you'll see that, like, you know, if if you rock a Western shirt with, like, you know, some white kicks, and some jeans like you're, it's not really going to come across as very western it's going to be like a dress shirt right we go rock it with some cowboy boots maybe some wrangler dress jeans you got to go more country throw a cowboy hat on there totally going going even further so you know these are very adaptable very universal shirts you can really wear these with anything and i highly recommend them i've always found that western shirts just really seem to fit great i mean they're just that nice and i really again want to thank cool fandy for their generosity and collaborating with Fat Cat Collections again. It's really nice to know that there's brands out there making stuff uh, that you know make us feel good about ourselves and that we can wear. And no, I tell you, nothing feels better, even at my age. Uh, I remember when I was 19, you know, before we were going out clubbing, we'd, hey, well, let's hit the mall, you know, try to find that new outfit. I'm the same at this age. 
you know, I absolutely love getting something new, maybe hitting a casino, maybe a restaurant, although, you know, I am more of a homebody, but it is nice to get dressed up when you, you know, when you, I feel like when you feel good about yourself and you feel like you look good, again, beauty is in the eye of the whole beholder, right? That is subjective, but all that matters is how you feel about yourself. And if you feel good about yourself, you tend to treat others better, you know? I think that, you know, we live in a world, not to get off on a tangent, but we live in a world with a lot of miserable people. And I can tell you because I have a YouTube channel. And some folks, there's a lot of haters out there. There's a lot of jealousy. And you can really only feel sorry for people like that because anybody who feels a need to say something to somebody else uh, really just is, you know, kind of suffering in their own way. And they're really just jealous. So, you know, you want to look good, you want to feel good, try out some cool Fandy shirts. And I'm telling you, you will, no matter what your size is, I feel pretty confident you're going to like the way these fit. So thanks for watching. Cool Fandy, again, thank you for the generosity. And if I can help you guys in any way, drop me a comment or drop me an email. Um, I get a lot of questions on size. Hey, you know, especially with leather jackets, you know, hey, what size should I get? Really depends, man. And I give you guys kind of my size. You can get a look at what I look like. Um, you know, again, if I was 170 pounds, you know, 8% uh, body fat, I'd probably have to, you know, this would look different on me. I may have to step up to a medium. You know, if I had a, you know, 50-inch chest, the small's not going to work, right? But for me, the way I'm built, this shirt fits me absolutely perfect. And if you have a comparable, you know, body build, um, I think this will this will fit you well, too. Um, I will also state that the small's... I don't think these shirts run big, but brands are different. You know, again, I've had smalls that are like, man, that does not, that's really too tight. You know, where you, you, you go the flex back and like the buttons are going to rip, like, you know. But this, absolutely, I'd say this is almost based on my experience with other brands, kind of a cross between a small, we'll call this like a, like a small medium, you know, it's like right in between. Uh, and it's really hard to find shirts that at least fit me this well in a dress shirt style without getting something custom, right? So thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.